and uh, joining me live, Mr. Nabil Aghwil, to talk more about this topic. Mr. Uh, Hafid, hello with that. How are you? Hello. Uh, thank you for the for inviting me today. I'm mostly welcome, Mr. Hafid. How do you explain this this act from the government of U.S. by discharging their soldiers? This is something I believe uh, irresistible. Do you think so? Well. Well, I mean, the U.S. government, as any other government, uh, uh, can can impose that on its military personnel. Now, in the United States, the president or the government cannot impose vaccination on the population. That's not legal. Um, the government has no right to uh, to do that, as uh, in some other parts of the world. But for the military or for employees of the federal government, it can do that. Uh, in, in the case of the military, uh, it is an issue of protecting the lives of the rest of the military. I mean, if you're not vaccinated and you are in service, uh, you can infect the other soldiers, which becomes a major national security issue. Mr. Uh, Mr. Hafid, if we take into consideration that this acts and this discharge that happened to the soldiers, what we, if we take it into consideration, how can we consider the normal people that are going to be treated by the government? Well, look, the United States Constitution gives an American citizen absolute right to refuse vaccination or anything else. The US government has no power over citizens. But uh, when it comes to the military, it's quite a different issue and uh, falls under quite a different legal system. But uh, I can assure you, no president at any time or any government in the United States will be able to impose anything uh, on any American citizen that will be thrown out of uh, a court the minute it shows up. Uh, the, you know, American citizens have absolute right to refuse any orders from their government. Mr. Havid, as last question, don't you think this is kind of a controversy because, uh, and a sort of contradiction? Because we all know that USA is the country that calls for democracy. Now, if people refuse, they refuse. There is no need to, to force something on them. Yeah, that's, that's, that's correct for the rest of the population. But we're here talking about the military, which is different. Uh, the military has to be uh, able to follow orders. And... In this case, it is dangerous if you do not vaccinate because it means you're going to put the lives of the other soldiers around you at risk. So it is absolutely correct uh, that they can impose that. I don't see that to be in any way in contradiction to the uh, a democratic or the rights of the individuals uh, uh, to refuse or accept these issues. So we need to separate very clearly between military personnel and between a regular city. Mr. Hafid Lawin, joining me live from USA. Thank you so much Thank for your you. intervention.